Just under an hour drive northwest of Orlando in beautiful Lake County is the city of Tavares. Along with the neighboring towns of Eustis and Mount Dora, it completes what is known as Florida's Golden Triangle. It was founded in 1880 by newspaper editor, politician, and New Orleans native Alexander St. Clair Abrams. He gave the town the last name of a Spanish ancestor, and it grew to include an opera house, sawmill, hotel, and office buildings. St. Clair Abrams was also part owner of the Tavares, Orlando, and Atlantic Railroad. His ultimate dream was to have the state capitol located in the town he had created. He lobbied hard to make it happen, but eventually had to settle with Tavares being made the county seat. Today, Tavares is best known for being a hub for seaplanes, and the downtown area on the banks of Lake Dora is seeing a resurgence with locally owned businesses. Abby and I spent a Sunday afternoon exploring the city of nearly 18,000 residents and want to share a few of our favorite finds with you. Coming up next, seven places you can't miss in America's seaplane city, Tavares, Florida. Seaplanes have been visiting this area with all of its beautiful lakes since 1914 a short five years following the invention of the seaplane in France. But it wasn't until the early 2000s when Tavares began marketing itself as America's seaplane city. Since then, thousands of seaplanes have taken off and landed here. It's very easy to book a seaplane adventure with Jones Brothers and Company. For over a decade, their experienced pilots have taken tens of thousands of Central Florida visitors on excursions in their well-maintained fleet of Cessna, Piper, and Sea Ray aircraft. They offer a wide variety of tours from a budget-friendly 15-minute trip over the towns of Tavares and neighboring Mount Dora to eco-tours where they fly low and slow over lake shorelines in search of gators. Prices start at $79 per person and go up from there. Full-day or multi-day trips can also be chartered to places like Clearwater Beach, Cedar Key, and Key West. If you would prefer to stay on terra firma and watch the planes come and go, Wooten Park is the place for you. This green space along Lake Dora is the perfect spot to watch what's happening in the skies and the water. While you're there, be sure to stop in at the Prop Shop, located inside a replica of Lake County's oldest man-made structure. Inside, you'll find some history on the area and some unique souvenirs with an aviation theme. Next door to Wooten Park is a reminder of the town's historic ties to early Central Florida train history. This building is a replica of a train depot that would have stood here in town back during the 1880s. The original station was adjacent to the Opera House, owned by the town's founder, Alexander St. Clair Abrams. After being utilized by several rail lines over the years, the building went on to become a silent movie theater and was later a voting precinct and a ceramic studio. It was destroyed by fire in 1988, and in 2011, the city had this pretty accurate reproduction constructed. A tourist train that went to Mount Dora operated out of the depot until recently. Early 20th century sports writer Grantland Rice was known for his elegant prose and was published in newspapers across the country. After cruising down the Dora Canal in the 1930s, he dubbed the subtropical waterway as the most beautiful mile of waterway in the world. We've now made our way over to Summerall Park, just outside the downtown area. 
This little park has something really cool going for it. Bring your camera and look for the bridge on Wells Avenue. This is the perfect spot to watch boats cruising in the Dora Canal. There's a small boat launch here and a spot to have a picnic and restrooms if you're on the canal and looking to take a break. We highly recommend taking a guided boat tour down the Dora Canal by one of the professional boat companies in the area. You'll learn more about the Golden Triangle's history and see lots of nature. Don't let the size of this downtown eatery fool you. They actually have a pretty robust menu. By the way, in case you're wondering, BTW stands for burgers, tacos, and waffles. Burgers, tacos, and waffles with a few extras like deep fried double stuff Oreos. Oh my. Owners like to say the theme of BTW is if you took three different food trucks that make great street food and put them all in one brick and mortar. I got the gringo, which is a taco with beef and chorizo in it. Nothing like a little bourbon maple to spread on your chicken and waffles. What did we do in America before the advent of chicken and waffles? It's got a very nice spicy little kick to it. I'm very excited about a side of mac and cheese. It looks delicious. All kinds of melted cheese on the top of it. That is so good. And it has a little garlic in the, in the mac and cheese, in the cheese itself. The tortilla is grilled a little bit on the outside. It's nice and full. They definitely don't skimp on the toppings. Trezo and beef has a nice flavor to it. It's very good. At the corner of Alfred Street and New Hampshire Avenue is Through the Years Vintage Market. What's really cool about this vintage shop, during the 1950s, it functioned as a Greyhound bus depot. Just walking into this building is like going into a time machine to the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and yes, even the 90s. Owners take a lot of care to clean each item, and then those items are organized by style and color and displayed in the appropriate room. I really enjoyed looking around the nautical room on the second floor. Definitely lots of great finds here. You don't want to miss this place. One last spot to finish off this list, and it's at the Hickory Point Recreation Park. An excellent place to stop and relax if you happen to be cruising the Harris Chain of Lakes. This free park has 12 boat ramps, fishing piers, boardwalks along the water, and plenty of options if you want to enjoy a picnic. Covering just over 70 acres with lots of parking, Hickory Point also has a small playground, a swimming beach, and a large sand volleyball court. That's it, our list of seven places you can't miss in Tavares, Florida. Let us know down in the comments what we should do the next time we visit America's Seaplane City. You might just see your suggestion in a future video. From Tavares, Florida, happy gallivanting.